So, I've decided to, uh, just say forget about the spider spawner, at least for now. I mean, it's that, and I can't easily, like, go into the game files and turn on cheats. You know, at least not with like a text editor or something. I would have to look it up to be able to modify the map or whatever to allow me to replace the spider spawner. <clears throat> but for the moment, I guess I'm just going to keep it the way that it is. I mean, there are ways for me to replicate the world. Which I just had an idea. Which it might be wrong, but... You know, it might not work. But... If I recreate the world seed... And then copy just the the map data files over. There's a chance that it would copy the world over to the new save. But if I turned on cheats in the new world, I mean, I'm not sure which file contains what information offhand. And opening them, open them up in uh, Notepad plus plus, kind of they're like it's either they're encrypted or compressed or both, but it's not just like. The JSON files used to be where you could just open it and edit stuff. Then thinking all the way back to like the jar files. I thought about doing that too is making a Java server and putting a copy of this world in the Java server. But then the Java server would generate its own like server files if they weren't there. And the server files aren't like encrypted, so I could probably set it the cheats to uh the cheats to one and then go in and replace the spider spawner. I mean, that's iffy, but I mean, I would have to download the Java server for the, well, the updated one. And then there's this, is like, it was convenient that I had gotten a Bane of Arth Arthropods diamond sword. And that there happened to be a spider spawner right here in case I needed, like, spider eyes or something. But, at the same time... It's kind of like... I could fix it if I needed to. And then I kind of feel like... feel kind of cheesy cheating in Minecraft. 
I mean, even using coordinates is cheating. Like, you're not supposed to know where you are. You're not supposed to know where the portals are, like... You kinda have to find a way to guess. But no, I'm not happy that... Like, I, I even had the thought as I was digging down into the hole, I was like, is this a spider spawner? And I fall in, and I, I'm thinking to myself, as I turn around and see the creeper, man, I hope there's not a creeper in here. So I heard a zombie. Because a creeper would be right next to the spawner, and it's gonna BOOM! It's like, ah... Uh, Jeez. I kind of don't know what to do. I should probably put a portal over by that mountain area that's to the, what, the east? Then again, I have the horse, which, I mean, that's something to do. I'm not sure which horse is the better horse. I think I need leads. Hmm. May as well grab a few stacks of food just because. I'll take like a handful of iron. Where is my horse? Let's 
So it's this way. Yeah, that's something that I gotta do too. Just try to make an iron farm. I've never made an iron golem iron farm. And all the time I've played the game, so I'm kind of reluctant to try to do it because... I don't really know any of the mechanics. And I'm kind of doing the playthrough to where I'm not really gonna look anything up unless I absolutely have to. And that can take a really long time figuring out the way that stuff works. Because you could be doing something that is making something happen, but for not the reason that you think that it is. But yeah. Oh, right, and that's something I should do, is I should put a map in, in and copy this map and make duplicates and stuff, and like... Is there a go fast button on the horse, or is this it? I mean, it's still faster than me running. And it just runs right up the blocks, the one-step blocks, which is really nice. Where is my horse? It used to be like you'd get off your horse or something. And um, as soon as your feet hit the ground, the horse would just like practically at maximum speed just go off in some random direction. So like if you jumped off in the middle of the woods and there was like a creeper or something. Like by the time you're done killing the creeper... Even if you kill it quickly, you turn around and the horse is gone. And I don't have any name tags. You know, this is something I haven't tried. Like... Uh, see, it doesn't really work that well. Uh, and of course, this has got to be in there. Yeah, no. Haunts. And he's gone. Nope, not <laughs> right to the portal. That would be a no. That's why anytime I take the horse out, I have to make sure I take a lead or a handful of leads in case they get busted. You don't ever want to take just the one lead. And a fence post. And a bed if you have to jump off the horse and jump in the bed so you don't get caught out in the middle of nowhere. At night.
Thesaurus is like an adequate horse. Like I know there's horses that have higher health and jump higher and are faster. And I know that you can like try to, you know, breed the horses to get better genetics toward what you want them to be, like a really, really fast horse, like...
What does sign mean? This way I can write down coordinates in the book in the game instead of having to use like a text file. I mean, the text file on the other computer is good, but I just thought about doing this and I've never done it before. It says sign? What does sign mean? Does that mean I can't edit it anymore? Oh, enter book title. Okay. <clears throat> oh, when you sign it, it will no longer be editable. Okay. The downside of carrying the portal book is... If you die and lose the portal book and you don't have a copy, which I don't know if you can copy books.
Hmm. See, I thought that it used to show you where you were on the overworld map as you went through the nether. Or at least it used to. Or is it one of those bugs where I gotta restart the map for the map to work in the nether? No, I guess not. Well, crap. Pretty sure in the last playthrough, the map would show me where I was in the nether as I... You know, like where I would show up in the overworld as I ran through the nether.
I was going to use the book, but then I realized. But then I realized that no matter what I do, I'm going to have to use the text file anyway.
So I'm looking at. Isn't there a looking at block? Or is that only bedrock? Oh, targeted block? Okay. So 802. So mountain. Portal. It's 802. It's the overworld. 802.73.209. It should be. Let me get the calculator on my phone here. Well, come on, calculator. Okay, so 802 divided by 8 should be 100. And 209 divided by 8 should be 26. There's a chance that this portal is just going to link me back to the, the home portal in the nether because it's not far enough away to create its own portal in the nether. So I think you have to go like a thousand blocks, it would be 128 times 8. So you have to go 1024 blocks. 1,024 blocks in the overworld to create a new portal in the nether. Because you have to be outside of the range of the portals that are already in the nether. Which is 128 blocks. And I don't really want to go through the nether with all my tools here. And I don't want to dump them off in the box because then I'll have to come back. Or I would have to build the portal in the nether anyway. I mean, I'm pretty sure that it'll teleport me back to the house because I'm, I should be less than a thousand blocks away from everything.
This is a really big chunk of, what is that, andesite? Diorite.
You know, I gotta make a Minecraft block calculator. Well, another calculator, anyway. Should probably make it like a log file, too, so like it automatically logs the... Like if I select nether and I type in the nether, it automatically gives me the overworld and then I click the add button and it just adds it to the text file.
rather than have to type in both values every time and either multiply or divide it by 8 like I mean it saves that many steps so like every time I use the program to do that it's gonna save me those steps every time so So now I need to go to 100 and then 26, 100 at X and then 26 Y. <clears throat> and I think the portal that I... Yeah, the pathway that I made... is what going negative along the z axis I need to, need to go to 26 z change the size of this thing here. F3 and Q. Oh, copy entity or block data. See, I didn't know they had that. F3I. F3Q. Show this list. F3 and F4 open game mode switcher. Oh, no permission, huh? So F3I, huh? What is that copy? Let's see, notepad. No, I don't think that copied the thing. I don't think I did it right. So F3 and Q, entity or block data, so I guess I gotta be looking at a block. So F3, I, so let's see. Oh, set block, oh, that's cool, it copies the uh, X, Y, and Z. Didn't know it did that. I'm sure there's probably like a client-side mod someplace that automatically does the times 8 and divide it by 8 for the nether. And it's in the game. But yeah. So if I do F3 and up or down, maybe? Uh, how do I change that? So would it be the GUI scale? Oh. Try GUI 2, maybe. Hmm. Okay, so that's better. I mean, I don't like that it changes my bars. So it is a little hard to read. Let's try GUI 3 maybe. I don't think that's the same as the auto one. You know what, this is actually pretty good. It was just, it was too crazy before. It was just too, way too blown up. You couldn't see anything looking at the block that you're trying to find. Like, you couldn't 
This way you can still kind of see it. Like, I got some cobblestone to do stuff with. Twenty-six, and then I need to go what to the positive X from twenty-six. I need to go all the way to what, a hundred? Yeah. That was lava. Oh, good.
Yeah, I don't think the horse can fit on something that's not two blocks wide. I don't think you can fit through the, uh, the two block or through the one block uh, tunnel there. Which I should probably do it that way then. Just account for that right off the bat rather than get the horse in here and then have to bring the horse back out. Because I'm pretty sure that he won't fit through the one block thing there. This part should be fine. I should be able to run over the top of this just fine. But this should link right up to that other portal.
Yeah, I think I'm gonna take a break here. Thank you for watching. I'm clicking the button right now.